Wheeler, Vice President of Sales for Charlotte Products in Canada. Welcome to our ISA virtual training event today. Our topic today is cleaning, disinfecting, validation and measurement technology. Lowering the risk of an outbreak is critical. Obviously, COVID-19 has been a worldwide health issue with many, many challenges. But the good thing about that is we've also had many learnings since March of 2020, approximately. We've got a higher level of awareness uh, where we understand this novel virus much better. Uh, we're also, it prepares us for the next one, which obviously will be here uh, sometime in the near future as the history of, of viruses and bacteria is uh, you know, have, have proved that. There is a rising importance of our particular custodial cleaning industry to promote clean, safe and healthy facilities. There's a necessity for our industry to prioritize innovative solutions. That's one of the keys to Charlotte products, why we've been so successful for many, many years. We can't continue to use the same products and procedures like we did in the 50s and 60s and 70s and so on. We've got to learn to balance lower budgets uh, with increased disinfecting frequency and cleaning frequency. And in, as a matter of fact, we're long overdue to revisit our cleaning and disinfecting Affecting protocols as a whole there. Understanding facility challenges. This is where really our job as facility specialists is to help our customers and end users, you know, with COVID-19, whether it be pre, mid or post. And the big key word here is post is what are we doing in the future to really lower the risk of an outbreak for people? Employee wellness. What's the short term and the long term effects of that? The overconsumption of disinfectants and incorrect, incorrect procedures is a challenge that facilities will have. Budgetary challenges. How do we actually, with less spend uh, and, and less people, actually increase cleaning and disinfecting protocol? That's a challenge that we have. The sustainability impact. I mean, what about all the waste now? The mass, the PPE, things like that, clogging our landfills and our lakes and rivers and streams. You know, the building reopening, you know, ensuring that public trust. If you're public business how do you how do you encourage customers to come back lowering the risk of an outbreak custodial knowledge which is key that proper knowledge transfer and education of our frontline workers that protect us day in and day out and also also the conversion from price based cleaning to quality based cleaning when no longer can we really choose the lowest price per square foot if you're a building service contractor this is a perfect opportunity to you to differentiate your business from other other businesses and, ba and base your services and your value add on, on quality based uh, programs. And obviously validation and measurement is very, very key. Okay, the current cleaning protocol that we're doing really common mistakes we clean by a visual approach okay we chase debris we we spray and instantly wipe disinfectants uh we use the uh, we spray and go using the latest delivery methods we have a failure to pre-clean service surfaces we have a tendency to over dilute product we do, we really do have a lack for respecting dwell time on disinfectants or we don't even complete potable water rinses on food contact surfaces these are things that we're learning and these are as we go along and, and COVID-19 has actually brought that to the forefront. What we're doing now is not leaving, uh, is not working really, and but it is leaving room for improvement on a positive, uh, on a positive note for sure. You know, but the real risk here is we have a major potential to create a long-term uh, risk of immunities and antibiotic-resistant bacteria, and that's really one of the attention spans that we have to, we really have to pay attention to. Okay, and here's a typical example in a visual. If you're still using a single cavity mop bucket, which we refer to as a soil virus and bacteria spreader, you can't do that. A simple solution on the right hand side of the screen is a double cavity bucket that you can see you can separate the dirty uh, contaminated uh, uh, detergents with clean fresh and you'll get a better clean. You know, uh, the five critical elements of disinfectant security, and this is typically where the failure is in our in our world, okay, is there is five steps following the label 
And I may add that the label is the law. In our industry, if you follow everything that's on the label, whether it's a DIN registered or an EPA registered product, you will do fine. The fact of the matter is the largest percentage of people do not follow it. So what are they? Number one, always use a registered disinfectant, okay? DIN, EPA, on the, on the health list, the whole entire works. Two, dilute pro properly, regardless of whatever the dilution or the delivery method is, okay? If it's says 1 to 64, mix it 1 to 64. Don't mix extra because it cannot kill more. Again, follow the label. You'll leave residual. You'll have hoist, a host area for harboring bacteria and viruses, a food source. Don't do that, okay? Number three, always pre-clean surfaces without question. Number four, respect the dwell time. If it says one minute, two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, regardless, it has to stay moist for that particular time. And number five, a potable water rinse on food contact surfaces or around uh, teething uh, children and things like that. Delivery methods. Since COVID-19, new technologies such as foggers, misters, electrostatic sprayers, and even drones have flooded the market. These are here for good reason because, again, you want your, your customers were having a need to increase the cleaning frequency, and these are much faster they will apply. However, regardless of the type, regardless of the brand, if you are not following the exact label instructions on each product label, you are failing, and the label is the law. Okay, so again, regardless of the delivery methods, if you follow the five critical elements, you'll be doing fine. Okay, long standing and sporadic use of validation and measurement tools. We are currently major, there's a major reliance on a visual check. There's also, we're using UV lights, ultraviolet. There's glow germ identifiers that you place throughout rooms. There's ATP meters, which are aden enzene triphosphate. That's relative light, light units in organic matter. There's PPM strips. And by the way, every one of the PPM strips are different for bleaches, quats, and peroxides. So make sure if you are using them, you're using the appropriate one. And since the good news, I guess, is since COVID-19, there's been a slight uptick in in the usage, which is actually good. Okay, but innovation is one of our strengths. As a as an industry, we have to continuously innovate without question. And when we go to market, we always respect the three pillars of sustainability. You know, and the first one is social. I mean, is it the right thing? Can we lower the risk of an outbreak? Can we provide cleaner, safer spaces and lower the risk of that outbreak and rebuild the public's trust? When it comes to environmental or sustainability, I mean, they tie in the same. It's it's the right thing to do without question. We have a serious, uh, we're making a serious negative impact on the planet as a whole. And I mean, so we take that highly. We respect that, uh, you know, environment and sustainability like you wouldn't believe. And then the economics. You don't, you know, precision cleaning is one term that we're, we're really utilizing these days because you have to clean and you have to disinfect better with less money okay and let's just go to economics here because really that's where a lot of decisions are made you know what we know and we're going to talk about OptiSolve which is our di digital imaging program here we know that facilities will have lower budgets and less spend there's no question right we know that the need to increase cleaning and disinfecting the frequency alone is going to be a, a, a going to be a demand and we need to do that with fewer people as a matter of fact right you know and you cannot possibly clean and disinfect every single surface in your building or nor do you OK, there are certain areas where risk is much higher and certain areas where good quality cleaning is suffice without question. So let's take these all into into account here. So what's the solution? We need to adapt to precision cleaning. We need to implement a site assessment validation indicator, which we call our SAVI for short term there, which is a software program that identifies the highest areas of risk and the areas in which you can improve, track and document all all of your results through analytics, okay, and precision clean specific surfaces, increasing productivity. If you know the ISSA standards about the cost of uh, out of every single dollar, over 90% of your spend is related to labor. 
precision cleaning complements that and ties into it and allows you to clean and lower the risk of an outbreak without question. Okay, so some surface testing that currently happens, you know, does it look clean? I guess it's clean. You know, was it cleaned with fluorescent markers, ATP meters, and microbial uh, microbiology and, and cultures and things like that, which you have to incubate and everything else, which has a 48 to 72 hour time frame. Well, now what we've got is Optisolve, which is making the invisible visible okay and you can see the screen in front of me in the top left hand corner that's a visual approach it looks clean so we assume it's clean but there could be hundreds and thousands of people that come in contact with that surface and transfer viruses bacteria all throughout your facility employee wellness risk shut down all of those things with optisolve and the pathfinder imaging look at the visual approach that you get Instantly, I can spend time training my custodians across the planet, my, my janitors, my custodians, and my caretakers to say, look, at these are the hot spots here. We need to adapt that into our cleaning regimen, and that's our actual precision cleaning. You can do that easily. Language barriers are common. There are issues with language without question, but visually, you can see on these surfaces, and this is what, what Pathfinder discovers and, and actually exposes, is you know exactly where to spend your time cleaning for the best end result okay all of the software all of the hardware is involved with it without question it's portable it's inexpensive uh, there's lots of ways to go through your building and identify those risk spots but the most important thing is you get instant awareness of those surfaces and again I look at the keyboard this is a common, if you're in a common cubicle where, where there's a multitude of fellow employees that come in and out and use these stations and keyboards, I mean, this is a little bit of a health risk. Look at the image on the left. It looks perfectly clean, okay? But look at the one on the right, and I mean, obviously, there's an issue there. So how does our program work? You spray a bio spray on the surface. You allow it to dry. You do your imaging with our Pathfinder uh, um, hardware, and that creates the actual image and it's as simple as that okay uh, there's an example of a door handle again you know instantly where to clean okay this is all about innovation so what does the tool do for you it allows you to assess the condition of your facilities it allows you to put an action plan in place the steps of action it allows you all of the analytical all the analytics that are key and it gives you that assurance that your facility is clean how do I get the public back in our building? Proving to them that you've got validation, you've measured, you've got assurance, you've got the peace of mind of new innovative solutions without question, okay? There's two pieces to it. Pathfinder is the surface imaging technology that does all of the um, imaging and does all the collection of all of the pictures that I've showed you. And then we have the site assessment validation indicator that really gives you all the analytics. So really it's a complete program that gives you everything that you need. You know, it's a specific documented program. Validation, measurement, liability support, because that's big thing going forward, right? Let's reduce that that uh, the risk of liability let's improve our cleaning procedures let's also include the proper products that it is in there as well improve training for any single user lower the cost of cleaning by improving the efficiency and limiting the risk of a shutdown due to an infection right the facility make sure it's meeting infection control standards as outlined in their objectives and plea pre-planning stage. Identify those areas that need to be clean and disinfected to standard and also identify the areas that could possibly be missed. Okay, again, improving employee wellness and the and the risk and lowering the risk of an outbreak. Rank your high touch areas, put them into an SOP procedure, put them into all of your, your cleaning uh, software and this, this program will actually allow you to do that. Use the full color images to detect contamination, show your people, show your users of your building as a matter of fact too because they need to be have a buy-in to actually help every every single facility keep clean you know and really identify and provide a, an analysis for corrective actions and that's really what it's about let's not worry about where we were going wrong yesterday but where we can improve today and maximize cleaning efficiencies okay there's just a screenshot of some of the analytics and 
And in my time frame today, we don't have time to go there, but we can walk you through every single one of those for those that you really like analysis and analytics for sure, your complete com pro program is there. So let's talk about some infection control tips. You want to, you know, you need to prioritize and validate or measure results within your facility. We can no longer continue to do a visual approach, right? We need to adapt a precision cleaning program, you know, so to know where and why and, and when to clean clean. Okay, be in control of cleanliness. Surround yourself with partners that can provide you with facility expertise. And I say deep facility expertise because there is a room for improvement is there across our globe. And surround yourself with the suppliers that are here at the show, okay, in a virtual format this, this year because we're learning again that have that expertise to help you lower the risk of an outbreak. Okay, so really in summary, uh, we recommend continued education post COVID-19 ISSA Canada, ISSA North America, a wealth of resource are really guiding lines to our industry as a matter of fact. Charlotteproducts.com, we've been conducting educational webinars since March of 2020 and YouTube channels and things and all on our website at charlotteproducts.com, that's there for you to view. Continue to understand the effect on employee wellness and sustainability and the three pillars of sustainability to be, to be uh, more precise and explore and develop standard operating procedures such as SOPs as well as validation and measurement systems and our savvy report. Okay, so with that being said, the contacts here, you've got myself as Vice President of Sales of Canada, and you've also got Matt Strano, who's our Chief Executive Officer. There's the two contacts. If anybody's of interest there with these, with more information, please reach out to us there. Stay safe, enjoy the show. Thank you. Okay, well, good afternoon, uh, Jim Fleeler, Vice President of Sales, North America and International. Uh, welcome to our webinar today, which it's Wednesday, July the 14th of 2021. Time certainly seems to be uh, you know, flying by for sure. And you know, countries around the globe are, are opening uh, slowly, I guess at their safest pace there. Social activities are ramping up. Uh, businesses are starting to open employees some business employees are starting to go back to uh, to the office um travel restrictions beginning to ease so this is good news because we've really been in this uh in this lull and this lockdown since about march of 2020 so we continue our educational webinars which we've done about 50 or so since there and uh, and we continue to help and assist all of our customers and facilities across the planet to really lower the risk of an outbreak, and that's really our goal there. So uh, with me today, I've got uh, Mark Kandau, who's our Director of Sales for Optisolve International, and uh, he's our resident, uh, one of our resident experts on on the program and the systems and all of the things that are involved with it. And what we thought we'd do is we'd really follow up uh, since we've done uh, the disinfectant validation and measurement and technology webinar for the ISSA Canada in June, we thought we would follow up with that today. We've had a lot of interest in, uh, in really some more detail about this program, Mark, and, and thank you for joining us today, um, you know, and taking time out of your day to join there. So, there's lots of questions that we have. Uh, Jen's just handed me the sheet here, which is two pages long, and we probably won't have two pages to go through. But the good news is if you have all those questions, there's a lot of serious interest. And, and really, um, you know, thank you for taking the time uh, to join us today there. So, so where are you in Atlanta, Canada today, Mark? I am, uh, I am in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia today. Really? Okay, good. And is the weather good or is it hot, it's, cold, it's rainy? Beautiful. Yeah, we're looking at about uh, 26 degrees today and a little overcast. So okay. we just got over a little tropical storm, but okay. um, we're good to go. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I guess you would have had the remnants coming up from, I think it was Elsa, was it? or It was Elsa. It was a lot of rain, a lot of wind. Um, only lost power one time, so it was fine. Yeah, that's good. But I think you have one of those solar systems, don't you, on your on your house there, or your residential? Oh, the Tesla Powerwall. Oh, you've got that? Okay. And how does that I work? I have that, you? yeah. Sends me a little text message every single time the uh, power goes out, but I don't, uh, I don't get the notice of power going out. 
It, it just is. keeps it going. It's a silent generator, essentially. So yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Well, that's yeah. good. Well, that's a very sustainable thing uh, to do there for sure. And and I know mm -hmm. Optisol has a, a, the uh, certainly sustainable traits to it and things like that. So so again, thanks for uh, for uh, joining us today. Uh, this yeah. virtual webinars are are amazing. We're getting uh, you know fairly comfortable with them. I guess that it would be so. So let's get right into some questions here. Uh, you know, we, we had a huge interest, like I said, in the from the ISSA, a lot of universities, a lot of colleges, a lot of healthcare facilities and things there. So our first question today is from Suzanne, you know, who's really asking, is the program designed for basically any type facility or there are are there restrictions? What's your comments there? Yeah, no, there's there's no restrictions. We we really design the the entire program for people to see contamination on a surface. So any facility that has that contamination on a surface um, and is concerned with contamination and cleaner, safer environments, our uh, our technology is perfect for them. Okay, so it doesn't matter how many employees or how much square footage or whether it's a healthcare facility or whatever it may be. I mean, it really fits into most industrial manufacturing things like that. All kinds of things there. Yeah, it would it would it would be a you know cross industry uh, system. It doesn't care where the contamination is. It just shows that contamination. So um, we we do suggest that you know it's uh, it's it's medium to larger size businesses. Um, now, there are two base products. There's our Optisol Pathfinder, which is our imaging technology. It brings the color to contamination. And then we have our savvy uh, quality management software system. And that's really where anybody can start their uh, cleaning auditing journey with that savvy. Um, so there's two base products there. So we can really tailor a program to those specific individuals. Okay, so fair to say your savvy report would be validation for a facility. Is that is that am I accurate saying that? Yeah, it it starts us off with like uh, what we deem a precision cleaning approach to those uh, to those services, and of course with with uh, you know we're in two thousand and twenty one. The day of data and uh, big data and analytics is is extremely important. So we're really bringing that into our cleaning professionals program and really taking the focus into our our custodial staff or janitorial staff and really being able to meet, uh, draw that line from them to the, uh, the C-suite of the companies because cleaning is extremely important and we all, we all realize that and it should be noticed. Yeah, and it's a, it's a, it's more you know the good. I guess if there's good news from COVID or any kind of uh, serious illness or virus or bacteria, mm -hmm. so there's always learnings. We always learn. Uh, um, if we didn't learn of new ways and better ways and uh, more efficient, safer ways, I mean, you know, we're not doing our job there. But yeah, it's, I mean, in order to build the trust, we've talked about it for a year or so on our webinar series uh, for the public to come back to your restaurant, to your hotel, mm -hmm. uh, to. Uh, to put their loved ones in long-term care facilities, to be cared for, all of those things. I mean, people are looking for that uh, accreditation as to that peace of mind that is clean there. So, so that's good. So here's a question from Jennifer, and this one's actually interesting. Are there contacts in Atlanta, Canada that we can reach <laughs> out to for assistance? So I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with that one. How's that one? <laughs> well, that was, that's, a, that's an easy question. Yes, of course. There's... Um, we, we do we deal with the distribution network as well. Um, so you can go off the solve direct or a part of our distribution network. Um, and of course, I'm in Atlanta, Canada, so you can always reach out to me. OK, that's good. Well, that's a, that's good to know. One of the ones that's really been behind the development of it and uh, and really fine tuning it. So it's good. So, Jennifer, you're in uh, you're in good hands in Atlanta, <laughs> Canada. Uh, here's one from Roger. Can you go into a little more detail as to how precision cleaning relates to Optisol? That's a good question. Precision cleaning is extremely important. And, you know, for those of you who don't know the term with regards to precision cleaning and, and, you know, Jim, with regards to your Charlotte webinars over the last year, you know, you really focus on that clean first and then disinfect afterwards. And it's still, it's still, um, it's still, you know, intriguing how we look at how many people don't clean before they disinfect and they don't follow the label instructions. So when we look at precision cleaning in that term, we really focus on the what, why, and where, and how to clean. Because what Optisolve is, is a cleaning validation tool. We show environmental um, contamination and environmental risk. So once you, once you start using the data of Savvy and Pathfinder and start taking these pictures and, and analyzing that data through Savvy with all of these surfaces in a building, 
you can really start honing in your cleaning approach to say what to use, what products to use, how much labor I need to use, what surfaces get contaminated on a regular basis and a timed basis instead of just flooding the place with a disinfectant. We really want to approach because we know we developed it for the safety of the, of the building today for COVID-19 and all of that. But we also are preparing the facility and the staff for the next pandemic into the future. And that's extremely important. So develop that precision cleaning. You know, you can you can monitor your labor, monitor the amount of product in the um, in the facility and kind of move forward from there. Yeah, that's a that's a good explanation. And one thing that people need to understand is you will never, ever be able to clean and disinfect and sanitize every single surface in a building. So, I mean, so if you've got 500,000 square feet or I mean, how do you possibly do that? You know, so so what you're saying is OptiSolve, the way that you put together this precision cleaning process, you can actually help identify and and allow the facility to meet those objectives. Correct. Absolutely. You can validate your products, validate your labor, validate your validate the surface in your yeah. facility as well yeah, it's an yeah. extreme, it brings that color to contamination so you know you can sometimes you can reduce the amounts of products that are just being used in your facility making it safer for that return to work process yeah 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 and and i mean not like i said not every not every area needs to be i guess it's based on the risk assessment that goes into the frequency of clean the type of clean the type of disinfection and things like that so that's good so so moving along here steve can you explain the pricing program does it vary based on square footage of facility or the number of employees or how does that work can you give us yeah. some idea absolutely well we we base our uh, pricing so on savvy and pathfinder it's all on a SaaS based model or software as a service uh, service. So you subscribe to our system. So with regards to the amount of employees you have or the amount of square footage, we don't we don't really look at that. We look at the amount of users that are going to be subscribing into our system. Um, so those those uh, you know depending on the amount of buildings and the amount of users within those buildings, that's how we that's how we base our pricing. Um, our pricing is very much a, you know a quote per um, quote per um, contract essentially Mm -hmm. but you know you're starting we really quoted on a especially if you're in a pathfinder base image um you're going to be purchasing essentially the amount of images on a monthly basis okay um it's kind of like a cell phone based data plan um so you would buy a certain amount of images for that month and then if you go over that we you can you can upgrade into what's called our enterprise base or our premium based uh our pricing structure Okay, good, good. Second part of Steve's question here is, is do you need to have both Savvy and OptiSolve, the digital imaging, or are they separate? Savvy and Pathfinder. So yeah, if you, if, if, so if a, if a customer just wanted to go with our Savvy, or sorry, our OptiSolve Pathfinder, our camera technology, um, they would have to have a login for the Savvy. So they work, they work interchangeable um with regards to that um you don't need to utilize the power of the savvy you would need to subscribe to it but if a customer just wanted to go with auditing if they use another another method of like atp or visual assessments right. for auditing they could just subscribe to our savvy base auditing program or our uh, our quality management software system and uh, they would not need pathfinder for that Okay, excellent. So they they've got a little flexibility in that as well. Because some people may only want it as a digital, like a visual imaging tool, and but some may want all the you know the the validation and measurement and and uh, SOP type uh, procedures in there. So that that's a good question from Steve. Here's uh, oh here's Linda. This is repetitive. How much does it cost? Uh, can our people operate it easily? I think you've just covered the cost. Uh, I mean, basically, it's a, yeah, sure. a particular cost per particular need in a facility. There uh, can their people second part of her question can our people operate it easily absolutely you know pathfinder pathfinder is easy to use out of the box savvy takes some setup and planning so once you do assessments with depending on the size of your building the amount of users so on and so forth you know we always like to suggest it's going to take whether it could be a day up to 12 weeks depending on the scope of the plan that you're looking to build so we always we always uh kind of tailor it or we kind of mimic it to what an accounting software would be like. You know, you want to have all of your accounting software set up before you build the system or you want all the parameters set up before you build the system. Our savvy system is no different. Um, So you can be as simple as you wish. 
or you can go complex, multiple locations, hospitals, that type of thing, if you, if you need to go that route. Yeah, good, good. Okay, well, it's like anything. It's, uh, you know, the more detailed you want to be, the little longer it takes there. But it sounds like your answer to Linda is it's it's generally fairly easy to operate and the whole work. So uh, here's Matt. Oh, here's Matthew. Uh, you know, how can we order this program? Is everything ready? How long does it take to set up generally? Sort of ties into Linda's question a little bit there. Absolutely. The best way to uh, the best way to order um, OptiSolve is to contact us directly um, through um, OptiSolve.net, our um, our website, and we can uh, we can tailor who whether it's to go through a distribution partner or you can purchase it directly from off the salt itself. Yeah, good. Okay, so they've got that information there, which is great. Here's Daryl. Do you conduct walkthrough or virtual site assessment training sessions if we need assistance? Is there a team of specialists to assist us? There are a team of specialists across uh, across the country right now. Mm -hmm. um, we we also work with our distribution partners and, and train those folks to get up to get up to speed so we can walk you through. But in the virtual, in the virtual uh, market that we're in right now, We'll, we'll always tend to our customers' needs. Um, we can do that virtually, whether it's myself or a lot of our office solve partners across okay. the country. And, and fair to say you have IT personnel as well that uh, yes. I know me, sometimes I need a little assistance. I mean, it's hard I to need believe, assistance too. So. I, I need a little assistance and sometimes it's, uh, you know, so it's good to have an IT support uh, member yeah. there as well. So we have, a, we have a full troubleshooting staff. Um, we write all of our own software. Um, so, you know, we're, we're well... Uh, well equipped for that. Yep. Good. Excellent. Okay. Uh, here's TJ. Are we able to get two digital images devices for our facility as it's about a million square feet? Absolutely. Absolutely. You can you can subscribe to as many cameras as you really wish to have. So again, that's on a monthly subscription basis. Um, it's monthly subscription that's billed quarterly essentially, but you can choose as many cameras as you wish to have. So if you're across, if you're a national based company from British Columbia to Newfoundland, and you need a camera in each region. Absolutely, um, that we would we would quote you as a separate what we call an enterprise value customer. Yes. Okay. So you could absolutely do that. So it sounds like you're uh, flexible there as well, and you know, basically providing everyone with everything they need to to lower the risk of an outbreak, which is great. absolutely, which is great. Here's Jonathan. There, do you recommend using our existing ATP meters with this system? Are there additional charges once you subscribe, like AT sp ATP swabs? <laughs> uh, well, mean, that's a you know what that's a fantastic question. So yeah. when we develop this process and we develop this technology. We, we understand that customers will have different surface assessment validation methods, whether it's an ATP monitor, um, they could do uh, microbial testing in a hospital, um, they could do COVID-19 essays on, on a surface. So what, we, what we, we tailored Savvy to be completely customizable to our customers' needs. So if they have a specific glow germ cream, um, like our old fluorescent marking system, mm -hmm. if they wanna put that in, they can put that in. So Savvy's designed to utilize Pathfinder, the imaging technology. It's utilizing ATP monitors. It can be just as something as simple as visual assessments or fluorescent marking. The customer chooses which ones those, okay. which ones they want. Yeah, that's good because I know some facilities. I mean, ATP is you know scientific documentation, I guess, or sure. medicine, I guess, and and uh, but the swabs can be expensive, and uh, right. there is room for error with the swabs if you're doing an edge and you touch it, and you know you're not right. mirroring it perfect and the things there. So so yeah, yeah, I mean, we so what you're saying is you encourage them to use a combination there, but tie it into Savvy, and and you're good yeah. to go. Absolutely. Savvy, savvy. it doesn't matter which, obviously Savvy is optimized for Pathfinder. You get high resolution images. It's really, you know, the, the, the sizzle to our steak kind of thing. But if, if we have a customer that's already invested in ATP monitors, they can still use those ATP. We don't sell the swabs or ATP monitors, um, but they can utilize that in any conjunction with our Pathfinder technology or whatever service assessment that they would wish to use. That's great. That's great. Well, I'm just watching our clock here and there are several other questions that we're not going to get to because sure. uh, we only usually go about 15 minutes or so. And uh, shout out to uh, shout out to Asquith there, who's uh, <laughs> uh, who's off on uh, vacation here right about now as well. So we right. usually have uh, Asquith in here as well, which I think you know very well as uh, yes, whatever. But, but anyway, OK, well, in closing, um, that'll that's all the time we have for our questions today there. Thank you very much for coming on and really providing us a little bit more clarity. I think it's fair Perfect. to see there were some good questions from, uh, from the people there and facilities uh, 
um, you know, for sure. And I, I know, I know, uh, I mean, the program is amazing. I mean, with COVID, post COVID, I guess, now more than ever, like we mm -hmm. said in the beginning, all of those people going back to the workplace eventually, probably within the next four to six weeks, I guess it's probably fair to say that the bulk of employees would be back, um, you know, in the workplace and they'll be looking for uh, health and safety teams and uh, infection control and HR departments to probably have raised their bar in cleanliness, right? In, in, or, in order to come back. Wait, do you really, really hope so? Do you think that's happening too? You'll think Absolutely. That Absolutely. You know, there's never been more focus on a clean, safe environment than now. Um, you know, when whether you're a hospital, daycare, school, restaurant, cleanliness is extremely important. And the proper method of cleaning is going to be more and more important as the years go on. Yeah. You know, when we address the, the need for, you know, superbugs and that type of a thing, um, you know, I think Optisol definitely has a really important place and an important role to play in the uh, in the safety of facilities. Yeah, for sure. Well said there, for sure. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, working with it a little closer in our facility Absolutely. and uh, see exactly what it does for us. And we'll tie it into future webinars as as we move along, educating, uh, educating the world on our on our series and things like that. So. So, again, thanks very much, Mark. Uh, you stay safe and have a great day and we'll talk very soon. OK. OK. Thanks, Jim. Okay, great. Thank you.